Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. So in the last episode I picked up a couple new weapons for Robo from the Mother Brain. We got the Terra Arm, which is fundamentally his most powerful arm in the game. Um, just off of sheer power. However, the Crisis Arm has a somewhat misleading description as it says attack changes below 10 HP. So it sounds like once he gets below 10 HP he would start doing insane damage or something. Um, but actually what that means is that the attack power of that arm depends on the last digit of his HP, the ones digit, so if he has like 999 HP, then, or any number that ends in 9, it could be like 639 or something, but as long as it was a 9, it would be the maximum attack power. On the other hand, if it was a 0, if he had like 740 HP, then there could be a problem. And how about that? We landed exactly where we wanted to go. So one thing I kind of sort of didn't really do since getting the flying time machine was to explore more of the world because there's a whole new world out here to explore. Usually when you get an airship of any type, that's the first thing you want to do, right? Is just check out the rest of the world, see what you've been missing all this time. But for some reason this game doesn't seem to encourage that as much. Or maybe you just don't do it. Maybe I just don't do it as much. I don't know. Anyway, that's the sun key. But it turns out there's a whole continent, oh, well, this actually is a continent you've already been to, that um, you took the underground passage and ended up here. This is Medina Village, and the Magus statue is over here and all that. But I believe if you go north of that just a little bit, you'll end up where I was earlier, which is a strange little town over here, the big old castle here. You know, I've never actually seen a map of this overworld before. It'd be interesting to see how this all fits together. Anyway, we can land here and go check this place out. My husband's never around. I'm gonna show him who's boss next time, pal, right in the kisser. <laughs> nice. Maybe you'll be a car painter. That might be more like it. And the chorus in where her husband sits here drinking beer. Or soda. <laughs> Had enough sugar today? Come on. Yeah, right. You just know he was supposed to be drinking beer originally. No, the ghost. The ghost night roams the northern ruins. Isn't that a trip? Hmm. Yep, they are. Huh. Rainbow shell. Interesting. I don't know. Let's see. What do you got? You know, we need some shelters, so... I was down to two of them there. <laughs> There, we'll just get 16 more. It's like the Mother 3 combo. You know what? Robo's just too big and bulky to be the leader of this party right now. So I'm going to switch to Frog. And there are other reasons for that, which are painstakingly obvious, no doubt, to more seasoned veterans of the game. Mayor's Manor? What's here? Tough. Yeah. Yeah, we heard that already. An old structure to the north. It's been in ruins for ages. Huh. Yeah, that is scary. Spirits still attached to the real world live in places like that. And what do we got upstairs? Huh. Yeah, I love how he says the black omen sparkles in the sun. These people are used to that thing being there. It's just part of their everyday life. Because even though we changed it in the past, it wasn't there before, but now it is. Now it's been there the whole time. So as far as everyone knows, it's been there the whole time anyway. That's Toma's grave up to the north. Toma, you might remember, was in 600 AD. One of the more interesting NPCs, non-playable characters, that you met. Ooh. Somehow I expected the ghost to be a little more scary than this. Anyway, let's take him out, I guess. Jeez, is, auto, uh, er, is Isla on auto drive there or something? That was weird. Oh, goodness. Hmm, something tells me we could do an X strike here and probably create an interesting effect. Oh my goodness, even the X strike misses. That thing never misses. Well, let's use a slurp kiss while we're here. Now actually, um, I don't remember everything about this fight, but from what I do remember, you can't actually really win or lose it. I mean, you could probably lose it, and that would suck if you could. Man. This guy's impossible to hit. Okay, he's starting to come across a little more scary now. Now surely there must be 
be something to trigger what he does eventually. Dropkick, have we seen that yet? Hell, I can just show off the rest of my text on this guy, hell. But yeah, it seems like nothing we can do. Well, that was cool looking. <laughs> she sits on top of him while he kicks. But strangely enough, we just can't seem to get anything to happen here. Can't run away. Well, surely something has to happen eventually, right? I'm not stuck in this forever, am I? Okay, what am I forgetting to do here? See, this guy is actually somebody that we know. Without spoiling too much there, I hope. Wait a second. The sword has no effect. Lynn, isn't that the band that sings Steal My Sunshine? Cyrus, tis me, Glenn! What? what? Glenn? Grrr! Oh, I can't reason with this guy. Now, if you talk to him again, you're just gonna have to fight him again, so don't bother with that. But one thing we could do is try coming back to 600 AD and see what was happening then. Maybe that could give us a clue as to what to do to solve the problem. He's been there for 400 years. I always forget, like, which characters are from 600 AD and which are from 1000 AD, so I think about, like, Toma. I'm like, why is he dead? Did he just die now? But then it's like, well, no, because he was in 600, that's when he died, or he died in 630 or something, a little bit later. I'm not sure if this is actually how you're supposed to do this, because what it is, is if you come to these ruins now, there's gonna be, like, holes in the floor and stuff, and you won't be able to advance in the area. So, what you have to actually do, and I've taken way much longer on this than I needed to, is go find the guy here in this town. I'm sure he's in the cafe. Yeah, this guy here looks just like the carpenter from a thousand. Well, they all look like each other, though. My tools have been stolen. I can't get any work done now. Okay, so this guy's lost his tools. Well, didn't we just talk to somebody in a thousand AD who was kind of slacking off? too busy working and not using his tools because he is too much of a tool to do it. You know how everybody, it's funny how everybody calls each other tools now because I, I've been doing something similar to that for like seven years now. I don't know if that originated seven years ago, but but I always, but I didn't actually call them tools. I call them stools. You want to borrow my tools? Be my guest. I'm busy here so I go get them from my wife. Well, we got to go get them from his wife. That's nice. Mm hmm Oh, she's too mad right now. What, it's tools? Well, hold on, they're right here. They're on top of the refrigerator. That's real nice. I'm surprised you don't grab them and they fall on your head as you're bringing them down. Make sure the open side of the bag isn't on the side of the fridge that you're reaching from. Anyway, we got the tools. We got one tools. And we can take these back to 600 AD. Inexplicably enough, you can take objects across time. As long as you're touching them, is what Lost says. But, anyway. Go to the cafe here and make the offer to this guy. You've got some tools there. Will you lend them to a buddy? Hell yeah. Now he can get to work. So this guy operates out of one of the buildings here. I'm not sure which one. There's quite a few to check out here. Well, it's not going to be that one. It might be this one. It might actually be the ruins themselves. <coughs> In fact, I'm pretty sure it is. Otherwise, they think you can meet him there, maybe. Well, you're gonna have to go back eventually. Okay, he's not here yet. Yeah, you have to meet him at his house. Sorry I don't remember this better, or I would have, you know, like, practiced or something. Wow, he's not here either. He's gonna be in the last house I check, you just watch. That kinda makes sense, though, because the lazy one lived in his house in the future. Yeah, start with the ruins. <laughs> These poor guys, he's gonna call them lazy blokes no matter what they do. Okay, so you can... Yes, I'm too lazy to walk. I'm actually taking the time machine. So you meet them up here and they'll actually say, we're done for now, we can't repair the spots where the monsters hide. Call us after you get rid of them. And here he goes again. So now you actually have to go in and take care of the monsters, and then you come back and talk to him, and he'll fix some more of the holes in the floor. So like now, for instance, we can actually get 
no, not here. This is going to be really hard to see on the video, probably. Yeah, earlier there was a hole in front of this door, but now we can get through it. But I guess we're going to have to save that for next time, because I've just completely... Jeez, I just wasted an episode there pretty much, didn't I? <laughs> oh well, too bad, it's Saturday, I have an excuse. It's the hardest time of the week for me, work-wise. Okay, bye, and take care, and thank you for watching, and see you next time.